All right, guys, welcome to the 13th ever episode of Dope Talk TV. It's mm. yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me, got Jay here with Boom. me. We're back with another yo, episode, yo. man. You already know how the fuck we rocking. We appreciate everybody that's watching, everybody that's subscribed, everybody that's shared, everybody that's commenting, and everybody yeah, that's you, rocking with you. us. We definitely appreciate mm-hmm. it from the bottom of our heart, for real, for real, man. We fuck with y'all heavy. Yeah. Y'all part of the motherfucking Dope Talk family, bro, for real. Boom. But yeah, man, we're back with some more content. We're back with another episode, and we changed it up a little bit, man. We got a little bit more organized this time for you guys, you know what I'm Mm. saying? Trying something a little bit different, you know? We got, you know, we got it set up a little bit different for you guys, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let us know in the comments at the end of the video if you guys like the way we set it up this time, for sure. Facts, facts. Mm. For uh, So yeah, one of the first, you know, topics that we want to talk about is, uh, so shout out of the day. Shout out of the day. Boom, let's jump right into First it. First segment Bow. is shout out of the day. Woo. Um, I wanted to shout out, wait, shout wait, out this guy. Up? Can I spark up? Yeah, yeah of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah facts. Yo, I actually, I, damn. Yo, we waiting. tripping, man. Oh, uh, yeah, we, we tripping. You right, bro. Listen, bro. I got you. Jack. Look, going. roll your blunt, roll your J-pack, your bomb pack, your bowl. Light your torch, man, and get with it, bro. Woo, woo. We smoking on some motherfucking Gorilla Glue this week. Facts. You know how the fuck we do it, bro? I got some yeah. gumbo right here. I'm going to share this with you. And what episode is this? Was this episode I already right? said it. Yeah, I already oh, said okay. that shit. Yeah, right. I, I did that shit, man. Man, right. top flying, right. man. Facts. 13th episode. Crazy yeah. as fuck, bro. Yo, man. Crazy as fuck. Yeah, that. We but yeah, first, first fucking segment, shout out of the day. Um, I wanted to shout out this guy that, uh, you know, he's a forever dad. He fostered more than 50 young men in the last 12 years, bro. That's you know, crazy. he opened up his home. It says, uh, Guy Bryant didn't plan this route for his life, but after growing up in a household with parents who were con- constantly looking out for neighborhood kids, it was almost fate. He took in his first foster child in while working as a community coordinator for the Administration for Child Services. So this guy was a regular guy, you know what I'm saying? And the past 12 years, he's fostered over 50 young men. Damn, That's bro. shout out of the day. Shout out sure. to that dude. He's That's... giving me a run for my money because I'm doing my thing too over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, just know that, bro. My dog's just trying to that. get a whole basketball team just in this know bitch, that. man. Let him know. Let him know. For real, but nah, bro. I, I felt like that was a special guy to shout yeah. out. That's what's up. That's man, that's respect not, to that's you know not easy. Yeah, it's not easy. And it's it's a it's not it's easy respect. when they're yours. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's respect taking care of other people's pro- you know not problems but like. Other people's responsibilities, responsibilities you know yeah, what I'm saying? Because that's not his responsibility. So yeah, that's shout true. out to that guy, and Respect. you know, we 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 need to see more of that in this world. Mm-hmm. Just people that are caring like that. You for know real. what I'm saying? For real, for real. Unity, yo. Word. Hit it. Damn it! I'm back on blunts, guys. What Damn. the fuck? Damn. Out? This is just now because right Damn. now we're using Damn. the buddy system because we was being lazy. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. Nah, so this doesn't count, guys. I never, I didn't buy one. You know yeah, what I mean? it came from him a bad influence. But yeah, yeah man. An- another place. shout out of the day, you know what I'm saying, is uh, this couple that surprised the waitress who walked 14 miles to work with a new car. That's fucking crazy. Damn. Bet. I'm starting to walk to work tomorrow. <laughs> Facts, tomorrow. get a new... I'm going to let everybody know, too. Be like, Lexus, dang, guys, bro. I walked 20 miles to get here. <laughs> They'll be like, really, bro? Did you get dropped off in an Uber? I saw a Prius pull up up Yo, front. Yo, for real. That's Shut the crazy. fuck up, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Danny, watch out. You got yeah. some motherfucking problems. Danny, who's Danny? I don't even know a Danny. Yo, shit, whoever Danny is. Damn, why you blow my <laughs> real, spot? For real. <laughs> Now people are going to know my story was fake. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man. Yeah. Those are the two shout outs yeah, of the day for sure. Respect. That's the first segment. Um, the second segment we're about to get into is positive news of the day. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. You know, we need a little bit of positivity, man. Yeah, I got real. some fuck. Yeah, some go ahead, Jay. Let Take it away with some positivity. Some positivity. Yo, Hit these motherfuckers this. with some positivity, dog. A Waffle House worker was left working alone. So guess what, bro? Customers jumped in. How many of us would jump in? Let's raise our hand. Let's put it in the comment. How many of you would jump in to help this? Word. Let me tell you. Customers started bussing tables, washing dishes, and mm. making coffee to mm. help an overwhelmed Waffle House employee stuck working a midnight shift by himself. Yo. Ethan Crispo, 24, witnessed the whole thing. Shout out to all those people because you know why? I That's wouldn't. I, I wouldn't do it. 
Yeah. No, yeah, I would have got the fuck up and did I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't do it either. So, y'all, yo, respect to you guys. For real, for real. For real. For real. That's fuck. But, like I'm saying, man, we need more of that type, type of shit in the world. You know what I mean? Like. We're such hypocrites. Tell us in the comments if we're hypocrites for nah, saying we that we wouldn't jump in. Man. That we wouldn't we jump in to help phony. but then say people need to Big do it. Big fat phonies. <laughs> but not for real, dog. Like, I, I mean, I wouldn't jump in, but we do need more of that. I, mean, I can't lie. I think I would jump in to help just because, like I said, I did work at a Denny's before and I know how shitty that is. As Denny's, I've seen crazy shit happen in the middle of the night because mm. people would come in on Saturday after the club. Lit. I saw fights. I saw people throwing food at it. And the waitresses would be like, um, Jay, you got to come out and help. Please help. And I'm like, I do not make enough fucking money right now to get the fuck out behind this counter and come in here and break up a fight. You want me to get hit? Yo. It's my money maker right now. Look at this. You ain't no fucking bouncer. I know I look like I'm. I know what this, like, I'm built as fuck. He said, I, I know, know you might confuse me with security if you walk into places, but I'm not. Yo, he'll hit you with a bat, bro. No right. roids. This right. is all natural. <laughs> This is all natural. Can we get a good? This is natural. No roids. I don't juice. Hey, no man. roids. Hey, dog. man. You know, that's crazy, man. I feel like health is important. You know, that's a big. That's a big thing too. You know, I feel like health, health is, is important. Super important. Like some people slack on that. So, hey, if you exercise, it doesn't matter if you do it. You know, you know. I don't know. Thirty minutes a day, fifteen minutes a day. Or are you trying? Nah, for real. You know, keep Shout going. Shout out man. to you, bro, for getting up and like actually doing something. Cause that's some positive shit, you know. Yeah, for real. I get up. That ain't some positive shit. It ain't easy either, bro. I've only been doing it consistently for a couple months, but that shit is not easy to stay doing it consistently. Consistency is the key to a lot of things in life. Big. Fact. Even relationships. Real talk. But if it's dead, it's dead. You gotta learn <laughs> to walk away. You gotta for real. Walk away. Yeah, for real, for, real. for real. But I mean, um, but yeah, one of the uh, one of the main topics that we were gonna get into the the main topic. It's the bro. it's the, the main topic. topic. You guys are right. Excuse me. Excuse Extorting me. children. It's, YouTube is dope topic of the day. Hey. Okay. Bum 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 bum. Dope topic of the day. All right, guys. Yo, so pretty much, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention or if you guys. Uh, if you're on YouTube or if you guys upload on YouTube and make videos yourselves, um, but there, there's this new uh, act that just happened um, with YouTube and Google. Um, pretty much some, there was a lawsuit against YouTube and Google alleged that companies illegally collected personal information from children in mm. violation of COPA. And OK, mm, from children. And that's 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 basically uh, um, what it's saying here. It was already passed in in Congress in 1998, so it's a Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, and that's a federal law that protects the privacy of children under the 13. COPA Foundation principle is one uh, is pretty much one. Most people can agree on on parents, not kids, companies, and platforms or content creators should be in control when it comes to information collected from children online. Yeah, bro, that's fucking. I mean. That's fucking crazy. What what are they doing with that information? You know, who knows? That's the question. Know who knows? What doing you know, with that information. maybe like people that's stealing, fucking crazy. Yeah, people stealing other information. And There's stuff no like such that. thing as privacy. We did. Yeah, but that this is before. true. We did discuss it, man. It, back to that. It's it is no such thing as privacy. But these kids, these kids shouldn't be getting paid anyway. It's but you know what? The but, kids are innocent. It's the parents. Yeah, but, so, but some of the kids. I feel like some of the kids are forced into it. And if oh, yeah. Not, definitely. You know, they're going to get, you know. I feel like anything it's else is started It's way easier to fucking get views of a six-year-old cute little fucking girl than it is no, of but You know what it is, though? Because you know who's saying? watching the videos? My right. five-year-old That's will sit true. there, right? And if I let him, he will sit there and watch toy reviews all day. Just another little kid playing with toys. And he'll watch the same video 20 times. And then times that by a million other five-year-olds watching that same video 20 times. Right. It's little kids. They're going to repeat. Baby Shark became the, such a huge hit. Why? Yeah. Because little kids put that video and, on repeat. And, and made it even, like a platinum song. I don't even have a kid. And I know that song. You want one? I got some. Bro. Nah. You can have like one of mine. <laughs> Human trafficking is is going on. At, it's at its high time right now. What? Bro. <clears throat> Human trafficking has been going on since the beginning of time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love my kids. All of them. I'm just He's like, yeah. <laughs> Seven grand. <laughs> Just get it. Seven grand each Damn. one. Damn. You guys really 
Wow. Nah, wow, never, thanks, never, guys. Never, bro. Thank you. Uh, that's how you see me. You think I'm someone catching seven grand? That's fucked up. Five. Five. Whoever had five takes him. Hey, man. Just because right now Christmas is coming nah, up. No, I'm just playing, bro. I'm trying to splurge on my wife. Yo, bro. Just Buy the MK, you know what I mean? Is that a gun? Nah. That's Michael Cole. That's my Michael Cole. That's how you say it. You Italian? Michael Cole, baby, the bobbity. Boobity bobbity boobity. Boobity But nah, yo, for real, like, back to the dope topic of the day, man. Like, yeah, that shit's fucked that up. Shit, that shit's crazy. It's but parents extorting their kids. It yeah. is parents extorting their kids, and it's fucked up <laughs> because a lot of the times the kids aren't even the ones that really benefit from it. You know, they make all this money while they're young. Their parents are in charge of all that money. They have no real say-so in what goes on with the money. And by the time that they actually realize what's going on, their parents fucked them out of all the money and they're fucked, you know. They're you know, broke. it started yeah. organically. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure it started good, like with that Ryan kid. Like, it started good, but when other people saw, hey, parents oh, are making yeah. tons of money. Yep, exactly. Timmy, Ashley, come here. You guys are going to work. You, you like these it. toys? Yeah. Work. Yeah. And the thing is, but you know what happens? Little kids see that. What what do kids say in school nowadays? Back then, what do you want to be, Tommy? I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a cop. What do you want to be? I want to be a YouTuber. Right. When my kid tried to tell me, I'm like, I'm like, boo, you got to think, buddy. I'm like, let's be original. Let's try mm-hmm. to be something like a YouTuber. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I'm not going to encourage my kid to be like, yeah, man, go after everything you got to be a YouTuber. Put your, put all your eggs in that basket. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's that's what anything, bro. You gotta have your hand in multiple pots to eat good, bro. Yeah, exactly. Like you gotta be, you gotta be cooking up in multiple pots to Yo, eat but good. These you parents, gotta... they know what they're doing. Yeah, of course, but now, man. But now it's extortion, bro. It's it's fucking child labor, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. for real. But now, I mean, I guess like what it's telling me here is that you before you even upload a video, you just have to like if it's for children. You know, it, there's there's rules, you know what I'm saying, for, like, you know, the subject, the visual content, you know, stuff like that, um, the age of the kids, you know, stuff like that. Like, I don't know. It's just, it, it seems like it should have been like that from the jump, though. I mean, if the law was passed in 1998, like, that means they just didn't give a fuck. Yeah, it was like a little loophole, you know? Loophole? They just didn't give a fuck. Bro, do you know how much you're making off They the probably did it until they got the warning. You know, they were, they were like, yo, you guys got to stop doing this or you're going to have a fucking lawsuit. And then they're like, oh. Bro, the okay. Ryan toy reviews, I bet you most of those advertisements are toys. Do you know how much, you know how much those toy companies are paying YouTube to run their ads on there? Come on. It's all, it's, it's all about. monopoly, bro. It's all it's a all system a that's dinero. designed. It's all connected to make big money more money. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's fucking crazy. But yeah, that's something that you guys should look into. Let us know in the comments what you guys think about YouTube exploiting little kids pretty much. Or letting parents yeah. exploit their, their fucking children. Like, that's that's crazy, man. That's I mean, crazy. I mean, you playing with the feds, man. You don't want to play with them. Yeah, the Alphabet Boys, the FBI, DEA, CIA, the Alphabet Boys. I dropped out in elementary you. school, so I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> My dog said he never made it through his ABCs. He was too real. How to jump off the porch. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped out in elementary school because of recess. Too many games, huh? Way too many games. Damn. <laughs> Drop that many. knowledge, dog. <laughs> Fuck. Yo, but facts. Moving on to the next topic. <laughs> Got that knowledge. Mm. <laughs> For real, bro. Mm. Get that. So yeah. pretty much, you know, the last topic that we have out here... For, we uh, we wanted to change it up for you guys, man, because we always come to you guys with see. some, you know, some, like, pretty sad shit, some, like, you know... We trying to, we trying to be some positive... Yeah, positive. we're trying to bring some positivity to the podcast and leave you guys, you know, leave you guys... With some positivity for the day or for whenever it is that you watch this. You know what I'm saying? So, pretty much one of the things that I wanted to say. Um, you actually told me this, man. Um, I'll never forget it. It, w- it was like like last month. And it was like, so don't be afraid to ask for anything. Because you never know. You know what I mean? And pretty much there was, um, I don't know. Was it you that told me that? I'm not sure. <laughs> it was <I> like, <laughs> like there was a guy, I guess that, that I guess there was an interview. I think there was a guy that you were watching that said that, and was just like, don't you know, don't be afraid, don't be afraid to, to ask for anything in life, because you never know what that what the answer might be, even if it's a no. Yeah, for real. But that's real talk, man. 
you can't you can't be afraid of rejection. For every you know, for every hundred no's, there's gonna be ten yeses. Because you can ask him. There was a guy that actually like he just asked for an interview with an artist, and he ended up saying yes. And now he's actually like a really big YouTuber. I'm not too sure of his name, to be honest with you. But it's but that's that's what I heard, and that's I mean that's big. Yeah. That's What's big. going on? Yeah. Ivy just walked in the building. Careful with the dog. <laughs> oh, oh, relax. Oh. Damn. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's out. He's my dog, man. Yeah. He's working out. His name is Remy, guys. He's a French bull. Remy Bull. He's going to have his own real, page. Like, yeah, like, it, you're right, bro. You can't be afraid. You can't be afraid of taking chances. That's, you know, that's what we'll leave you guys off with. Like, yeah. don't be afraid of taking chances. Go for it because you never know. It might just happen. It might just pay off. And, you know, it's better to try it than to live with regret. Yo, who gives a Straight fuck up. what people think? Facts. People can see us doing this and think that we're wasting our time and Word. whatever. But in reality, everybody wants to say that until they see you being successful. Then they want to be all over your shit. Of course. Yeah, that's how it works always. But yeah, man. Oh, sorry, guys. You fucking shit up. I'm an How long idiot. we been recording? Too long. No, we're at only at sixteen minutes. We're sixteen. Damn, we're, we're over here trying to wrap it up. Like, yeah, okay, real, listen, like, listen. Fuck. All right, listen, guys, this relax. Shit we're isn't working out this organized me. shit is yeah. bullshit. We ain't doing this no more. Nah. <laughs> I think, we should, no, I think we should just start over. Nah, fuck nah, it. We just nah. You, you know what, bro? We don't give a fuck what people nah, think. For real, we're fact. stoned. It's a work in progress. We're high as fuck. And we're you know gonna talk saying? about. I got a topic for you. How about this? What do we think? <laughs> what do we think I'll of make parents? This better. What right. do we think of parents going out looking off on fleek and their kid looking like shit? Mm. What do you think of that? When moms go out and they That's have their nails fact. done and they have the the new red bottoms and the new MK, yeah. But then the kid looks like a piece their of shit. Kid still got the felos from two thousand six and, and it's, shit. And the That's kid's true. innocent, you know. Damn. I have kids, so I don't mean to say it like that, but it's that fucked up that that's, their parent. That's true. You're responsible for how your kid looks. At the end of the no, day, you're responsible. Yeah. No, that's a good topic, bro. Because that's real. Like I respect the parents that are for Ooh. their kids first. Yes. Like it should be backwards. Your kids should be looking fresher than you. Yeah. If yeah. you if that's exactly. what you got, that's what you got. Don't you know that's selfish to go spend it on yourself. That's true, bro. That's, but you see it all the time. There's a yeah, lot of bad parents, and that's the case. Like I don't want to get people pissed, but fuck it, bro. That's the case with a lot of the child support out here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Let's keep it a buck. A lot mm. of this child support ain't for the children. Nah, for mm. you know, it's for nails it's for and hair. Real talk. It's for the, the we It's for the going way. out yeah, and shit. Like. For real. It, but it goes both not ways. All the bro, time, like, not all the time, though. Yeah, not all no, the time. Not all the time. It goes no, both ways, bro, because yeah. like on, the, good on the flip side, on the flip side, as men, we need to start telling other men when, when they need to tighten up and take care of their fucking kids, too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? For real. Yeah. Like, we That's gotta, true. We got to we, we gotta check each other. It's and teamwork. Each other Make the dream work. Bro, it takes a village to raise a kid, bro, and that's facts. Because your kid's... You know, your kid's going to be away from you, especially kids that go out to school and stuff like that. They're not going to be with you most of the day. So the village is going to help you raise your child. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the village is the shitty teachers. It is. <laughs> the shitty teachers because they don't get paid enough money, so they don't give a fuck about your kid's education. That's, That's what it fact. comes down to. They got enough worries of their own, like bills and more. Yeah, they're way underpaid, bro. But yeah. I think that's a that's another problem in this country. And they got to deal with your disrespectful though. fucking kid because you don't teach him any respect. That's a fact. Yeah, bro. That's true. For real. And then what that's you want to put a hard out job, the teachers, bro. they be acting up. That's a hard job. Like, you got to mm. get cursed. Especially in high school. Like, these kids think they're fucking grown already. Like, I was one of those kids. I'm Yo, not you see lie. the fights all the time of teachers now. With Even, like, this female yeah. teacher that recently got in a fight with, like, a fist fight with this kid. Like yeah. you, come on! But the thing is, it's like the parents. That's where the, they're failing. The parents are failing. It's not the school system or or the teachers. Yeah. You, you don't teach your kid fucking respect at home. He's gonna go out and act like an animal, and then people are gonna treat him like an animal. Yeah. And then you can't get offended when somebody t- treats your kid like, "Hey, get the fuck off my couch! You don't jump on my damn couch." You know yeah. what I mean? Listen, like, man. Don't yell at my kid. Well, then teach your kid how to Fact. fucking act. Either you teach your kid respect, or the law will. Yeah. And that's just playing a simple. If you start when they're little, don't wait till they're 15 to then be like, you gotta yeah, learn this real. shit. That shit. <laughs> no, for real. You gotta, it starts, it starts from the home. It starts from the home and it, it starts with just, 
it's honestly it starts with just the the parents and, and a male. To me, role a lot model. of the times, bro, the problem comes from kids having fucking kids or cell phones. Yeah, yeah. Social media makes it. It's just fucked up. I don't even want to go into that. <laughs> Damn. No, for real. But social social media does. Social media does deteriorating the fucking way that we think. Though that's why it fucks with Facebook. Social the media off. is is deteriorating the way that we socialize because it's not really socializing, bro. Bro, you Instagram, go on there, you look at what that. other people do, you get envious, you fucking, you just it's a constant like reminder of where everybody else is at and where you're not. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's yeah. really what Studies it is. Studies show yeah. that it leads to depression. If it you look does. at your cell phone and social media the moment you wake up, the studies show that it's linked to depression. That's a fact. You know what, you know what grinds my gears? Ooh, he said, you know what grinds my gears? Ooh, Tell me. Tell let's me, get John. into it. You know Tell what me what grinds your gears. I don't know. I feel like movies were better back in the day. People are saying like that the whole superhero genre is fucking up the movie industry. Like, Martin Scorsese, I believe, these big directors are saying that these superhero movies are not art, and they're fucking up the whole music um, movie industry. What do you think? I, I feel like it's just the devil. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Yo, guys? guys, excuse John, he's high. But nah, I I don't know, man. I feel like it's just <laughs> it's it's the loss of creativity, bro. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, not for real. They already ran through pretty much all the movie ideas they could fucking think of. <laughs> Like that's what it comes down to. Nah, no, they're recycling the shit out of everything. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they're already facts. they're running out of ideas. Yeah, they're running out of ideas. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> they're just getting shit. Bro, creativity's yeah. at an all time low. Bro, I'm just kidding. Artists don't come. Don't come. Oversaturation is a real problem with movies, music, music, especially music. Because like, everybody can record. So everybody yeah, thinks and everybody can drop anything artists. any day. So you're sitting here. You you. You're flush with so much new fucking music that oh it becomes a normal thing to be like, oh, that's old. It was last. It came out last week. Oh, they can drop like, these nuts. Well, yeah, yeah. That shit's seven days old. What are you talking about? But shit becomes old. You get these apps yeah, like, that and, and on your phone that you can watch a movie when way before it comes out. So by the time there it's on DVD, people are like, have you seen that new movie? And you're like, what new movie? They're like, it's this and this. And you're like, that movie's fucking old as hell. And they're like, it just came out on <laughs> DVD. For, it's like, it's been out two weeks. It's like, my G, I saw it two yeah. weeks before. It came but shit, shit's not about. the same though. You know how they used to have like people walking through. You could see like someone's head. Yeah. You know? Oh, like, the bootleg. Like, like the, the camera. Bootleg. Bootleg. <laughs> the bootleg used to be like way Yo, more like you could tell it was bootleg. But it now, was like, dead ass. Like you could tell somebody snuck some shit in there. Yeah, like, but you could tell like somebody got paid off or something like. <laughs> but back, in, people going. back in the day, it was a mission to stick that camera in there. Nowadays, nah. you can get a GoPro that's 4K this big. And not Back in the that, day, you had to bro. take this shit that was this big in there, yeah. so you had to have respect for the people that risked it all. It's for technology. Real. That's a federal bro. offense. That's a federal offense for real. Like yeah. it's technology. People yeah. can leak your fucking movie before it even goes out to theaters. Like, Welcome to America. If you know what you're doing, you can hack somebody's shit and be like, "Oh, I got the movie already." Like yeah. technology's fucking crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's wild. What do you think of technology? Do you think robots are gonna take over the world? Yeah, we were talking about that earlier, man. We we were talking about how like that iRobot shit is a very big possibility. Yeah, it's a good possibility. I feel like it will happen. Like, go down in the comments and let us know if if you guys if Will think Smith that... will save us all or if he'll <laughs> let us die. <laughs> in fact, if you think that iRobot is like a possibility, you know what I'm saying? And if for the people that have never watched it, it's a movie where you know artificial intelligence. AKA robots, they try taking over the world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and they try to kill. In you. my personal opinion, bro, I'm kind of a conspiracy theorist at heart. <laughs> we mention this every episode. I feel, <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's just so fucking real, bro. Like, that shit's really going to happen, bro. Like, but it, at least eventually. We, yeah, we it might not be in our lifetime. I mean, shit. We I feel like there's way. like higher technology that we don't, that we don't even know about yet, but the government does. Like of they, course. Like there's like the government event. wouldn't lie to us. Yeah, though. like they come on. Lie what us. happened to the to the uh, the Area 51? What happened to that? I didn't hear nothing. Yeah, remember we talked about it because niggas know, bit, bro. That one episode. Oh yeah, we did talk about that. Only like what was it? Like a certain like millions signed up on Facebook. Yeah, don't get me wrong. That's true. A handful. Man, that up. ain't sh- like that. Still ain't shit. Though. A smaller handful approached. The you know how many millions there are in this country? Only one when million did, people are like, fuck yeah. Yo, when did, uh, when did skinny jeans become a thing? Like, in like... Skinny jeans... Like be- in, 
I think that became a thing in like fucking 2009 or some shit. Like I that. think around a little bit around there, a little bit earlier, because I remember I was rocking that heavy ass, you know, and Nietzsche, <laughs> Fat Farm, Rockaway. Oh, the Fubu! You the dropping fubu. the you dropping the drippage on them like yeah. that, bro? Mm. Yo, you, with the, you might drown you off remember, this way. You might drown off the, the, the wizard. The double, the double T's, you remember? Mm, the, the patches, double, the those NBA double patches. T's were fucking <laughs> trash. We had like one white, one yellow. <laughs> if you were in the gang, if you were like that, a, shit <laughs> was trash. <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> Yo, the NBA patches though. <laughs> shit. The Tims. Yeah. I'm from New York. Damn. I've never had a pair of Tim's Yo, in my fucking Because you've you never remember, lived in New York. You remember we used to tie... <laughs> <laughs> I've never been there. Hey, but Fast, you remember bro. when we used to tie... Uh, we used to tie, like, our jeans under the, like... <laughs> yeah, Like, no. under, under our laces. We'll put yeah. the jeans through the laces. Trash. Yo, I'm not going to say <laughs> I ever trash. did that because I'm going to assume that was a Florida thing. That was Florida shit. That, that was Florida sh- Trash. I've never seen that. Trash. We what dressed like fucking bums so, and we swore we were killing What was the them, purpose, though? <laughs> We dress like bums. It was just to like, cause there was no skinny jeans yet. So you should. Oh, uh, y'all was making was like make a bell skinny jeans. Mop. Yeah. Give me some. Give me yeah. some for creativity. You know, drop creativity. the drip. You know, he gotta got drop the Janko the jeans. <laughs> he got the Janko jeans tucked in the. Yeah. In the hey, you know. You gotta, t- you gotta tuck it sometimes. You know what I mean? Bro? No, you I, never have to tuck it. Nah, that's just fucking trash. Don't do it. Don't guys. ever that's tuck it. Let it hang. Swear. Let it hang. Yeah. Right, John? I don't know how the hell we was pulling bitches, bro. That's nah, no sense. Fuck it. Remember when people would wear the, the sweatbands? Like, why the fuck are you wearing the sweatband? <laughs> it's you cold as fuck. You brought that back. You trying that bad? What are you talking about? Drake brought that shit back. Like, Man, listen. You think Drake's a, tw- a trendsetter? What do you think of him getting booed off stage? Oh, yeah. Go down in the topics and let us know what you guys think of Drake. I think he's still a legend, and, and you anybody can say whatever they want. I but think he's still that, that nigga was fucking pissed. Yeah, he went up Drake. to the promoter. He's like, my G, never again. Pay me my fucking money. I'm out of here. <laughs> Give me my fucking again. jet, guys. I'm out. Give me my fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. I'm flying to my jet. He's going back I'm to the OBO to my sweat shop, and it's on. I'm going to make them motherfuckers crank me out hits. That's embarrassing. Hey, man, it happens. It does. No, it but doesn't. never no, in doesn't. the fucking height of somebody's career. That's my thing. Like, I've Ask Celine Dion it. how many times she got booed. Ask Elton John how many yeah, times he got booed. For real? I don't know. I don't fucking know them personally. <laughs> John, you want me to fucking text them? <laughs> yeah, call them right quick. Oh, that. <laughs> it's a bet. <laughs> nah, nah, but uh, listen, man, it happens. I've just never heard it happen like, like that. You heard of any of these? And then you what? These nuts. Oh, I knew that. I knew it was coming. <laughs> Got my ass. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Get it. Damn. Bro. I had to say that because my man Welvin. Whatever happened to Welvin the Great? Can somebody put a link down? Remember Welvin? Got him. These nuts. Oh. Oh, oh shit. And he popped. Somebody supposedly posted a video of him sleeping on the side of the street Get the with no man. sneakers on. But look oh, at nah, him. Oh, he, got, he got on the drugs. But remember the other dude, A-Town, too? That's fucking sad. 